Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So last time, friendly, mostly story and tutorial, but we did also beat up some ghouls. I lured them off screen. It's a good job I did, because apparently their bodies have disappeared now. Anyway, so we also learned that the Wild Hunt itself, unless I'm misunderstanding, is some kind of a giant wraith dude on a badass looking horse, and I'm guessing he's going to be the big bad guy of this game. It would make sense, given the game's called Wild Hunt. So, hey, you know, at least there's that. Ever tell you about okay, let's get the crap out of here. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. The ghouls, I assume? I see. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. Well, to be fair, the man probably had a point. He just clearly didn't think it through entirely. By the way, this feels very well, Red Dead Redemption exactly right now. Going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. By the way, yes, I saw we passed through a ransacked village. We'll probably go back and check that later, but no really time to be doing it right now. What the hell? We're that was going. the smoothest transition ever. I'm being sarcastic. Help Help! Here I come to save the day! No! Come back with the horse! I was gonna eat that! What you gotta eat, man? Has gone. Yeah. Come out. Wow, nice hair bowl job. Did your mother cut it for you? With a bowl? Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. <laughs> What the hell kind of noise was that? You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Yes, yes I would. We could use a few crowns. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods, now this? Yeah, my heart bleeds for you. Now about that money. Here. There we go. I will work for free. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yeah? Why do you care? What's it to you? Well, you see, there's an inn here in White Orchard. Well, you see. Sold one around, gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. I'm gonna assume rye is alcohol. Just makes me think Greetings. of rye bread. And that stuff's Greetings. gross, no Greetings. matter what you think. Greetings. Greetings. Apparently you know it's saying nothing else. Okay, well let's get our horse called Roach, apparently. Not sure I'm down with the name of the horse. It makes me think of a cockroach. It's kinda gross, but you know, I guess it's canon. Because, for those of you that don't know, the Witcher games so, are based on the books. Griffin this close to the village? He's probably called Roach in the books. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. You're nearing a village, don't disturb the peace. Uh, I can make no promises, but apparently we're supposed to be looking out for some war. kind of a billboard or Corpses something. everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard, and we should leave as soon as we- Aw, oh, damn I cut off the dialogue. I hate when games do that. By 
By the way, speaking of the dialogue, I've turned it up like 50% or something, and it was pretty loud anyway, so hopefully it's loud enough now, because like, holy shit, any louder, it's going to blow out my freaking eardrums. Well, we're going to be beating up that man, I can tell. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. Powder lilies. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Well, you sit down. We don't need to hear about your arse. What a horrible visual image. Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. You're right, you won't, because I'll kick you out of the freaking bar, you dick. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be of service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue? I'll take a sketch. And the racks. Also, show me what you got. Show me what you got behind the counter. Cause I got... Okay, yes, I, uh, yes, yes, game, I know how to purchase things from a shop. It's really not that complicated. Okay, so she's selling cards or something? Maybe there's a card game in this game? I don't really know. Kind of reminds me of Triple Triad. If you don't know what Triple Triad is, go play Final Fantasy VIII and come back, because Triple Triad's amazing. Holy shits. Okay, well, anyway, I don't think we need any of that junk. Uh, is there a contract on that griffin by any chance? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Exactly. He knows where it's at. Looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes. Dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Okay, steady on your perf. Think your travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Hmm, okay. Eh, yeah, we can end the conversation. Thank you. Get out of my sights. Thanks. For everything. Not that you really did much. But you know, thanks anyway. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Yeah, you are. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. Me? Draw attention? Yeah. Preposterous. Like been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? They're passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. What the hell? Can I threaten them? Apparently so. That's weird. Hi, I like your hat. looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Well, if you keep that up, buddy, your beer's gonna be sour anyway, because I'm gonna take a piss in it. Okay, so apparently we can mind control him with the triangle, so you're damn right we're gonna do that. Talk. No. Raven-haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. 
Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. And your friend's hats. It's a nice hat. It's not really a nice hat, but it does remind me of Mr. Smee. And that amuses me. Okay, well, I guess we can't really get any more information out of them. I would like to threaten them more with my punching, but, uh... It looks like you can't actually Once punch them. More, there are four... F four? What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Your name's Aldert Git? Witcher, with tenure. Bad ass. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Uh, the horsewoman of war? What the hell do you mean? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Hmm, okay, interesting. So, why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Yeah, but the thing is, if you're dead, knowledge ain't that helpful. Anyway, write about the war, what it's really like. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but... Rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. This reporter guy's a dick. He'd fit right in. Anyway, fare thee well. You bore me, sir. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Oh, this must be what the cards are for. Well, we'll probably try it later, but not right now. No thanks. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. See, now if it's like Triple Triad, then I'm down with it, but uh, usually custom car games and video games are just annoying. But we'll see. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll have a drink, I guess. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. I received a lemon? Okay. So how do you know Yen? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Dun dun dun. Okay, so Dandelion was a bard and witcher too, that's all I really remember. So, you know who I am. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. Yes. Okay. So who might you be? What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim. At your service. Vagrant. That a profession now? Can I call you Gunther? Once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror. Or the Man of Glass. 
That's a weird name. So where's Yennefer? You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Ah, it's none of your damn business. None of your business? Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble, and you'll be nearby to help. Oh, I expect so. I imagine that's exactly what's going to happen. He's going to be getting attacked by the Griffin or something else. We're going to swoop in and save him, and then we're going to get some kind of reward. Oh, shit. We're going to get beaten up now, aren't we? Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. That's a yes. Or more accurately... They're gonna get beaten up. Ah, okay, so we can use a sign to control their minds. I don't know if that can fail, but screw it just to be different. Let's go with three against one. My, you're brave. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. So I'm assuming I'd be the man in this situation. Oh shit, oh come on man, what the hell? I was trying to carry it, damn. He's down already. I feel like we need the orgasmo theme. Now you're a man, a man, a man, a man. Now you're a man, a man. Oh shit, no, 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 no. But, uh, eh. Yes. You. That gentleman, that's what we call an ass whooping. This time it was free, next time I'm gonna charge ya. That don't make no damn sense, but I couldn't think of a better one-liner. And apparently we found some old goat hide. Oh, baby! So yes, I'm hoping there's not gonna be a shit ton of stuff to loot all over the place, because again, that was one of my complaints about Witcher 2. If you ever went inside a house or something, holy shit, you could loot everything. And you needed to, because it was all useful. Witcher? They could have sewed his head back on. Word is, they laid his corpse to rest, hush, hush in a crypt. I gotta say, one thing I really like about the Witcher games are the horrible English accents. 10 out of 10, it's freaking amazing. Oh, Witcher! I don't know what's going on, go blimey, Gaffner! No, this board. Oh, I see it right there. See there, right there. That's one. That's a really good example of what I'm saying. Okay, so we can get, I assume, just random quests on oh, the new order. That's a video game that I'm gonna play, eventually. Uh, let's try grabbing that one. Oh, can we take all of them? We can. Greed. Okay, so I guess we can probably just take them all at once and do them in our own time. There might be some kind of a time limit or something. Don't really know. Holy shit, with the tool tips. I know you can turn them off, but goddamn. It's just a bad idea, because it's probably going to be some very handy ones. Okay, let me very quickly go over this quest and see what we're going to do. We'll probably carry on with the main quest, but maybe we'll do one of these optional ones. Oh, that one suggests level 2. I kind of want to do that one, though. But probably a really bad idea at level 1. Though I don't know how big of a gap there is. It's kind of hard to say. But yeah, give me a moment here. Okay, I checked around a little bit more of the village, and I ended up looting a whole bunch of shit from the houses. It wasn't quite as excessive as Witcher 2, but like, goddamn. There's a lot of crap lying around that you can just steal, so I grabbed as much of it as I could. What the hell? Is this a quest, I wonder? Ah, she looks like she's got an exclamation point. Yes, yeah, she does. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. Your pan? It's always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like twere his own. Was standing at me window, 
peering at the goings on. He must avoid me. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Right. That's a truly fascinating tale. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? <laughs> Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Right. Fine, I'll help you, I guess. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here. Just in case. Yeah. I'm Batman. So, we have to break into this woman's house and steal her pan back from someone who's possibly dead, who stole her pan in the first place, and she doesn't know why. And this person was calling her Gran, so I'm assuming it was just like her grandchild, and she's batshit insane, like she's got Alzheimer's or something. I'm not making light of that, I'm just saying. Maybe she doesn't remember who he is. And also, I don't know how to break down this bloody door. That could be a problem. Oh. Wait a minute. Can I just break it down with a sword? Yes, I can. Well, son of a bitch. And also, that was like the worst door destruction I think I've ever seen. It just crumbled. Oh. Smoking pipe. She's been at the crack pipe. Now that explains a whole hell of a lot. That looks important. Don't know what it is. I mean, it's it's some kind of material. I know that. Of course. See, this is what... Explains the stench. We found the guy. This is what I'm saying, man. Like, holy shit, how much booty is there to loot? And by the way, speaking of looting booty, we're just robbing this woman right now. She's like, yeah, go find my pan, and His then we throat, rob her. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What? A garret, by the way, or power of your set? Nothing. Yes, nothing, nothing. His throat. A he son of a bitch. And some old anyway, scars. a garret is like, uh, kind of it's kind of like a have. piece of metal but that you I use to strangle someone some with. It's like what assassins tend to use. Did, 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 did you, you mind? Holy shit, we found the mother load. Oh, looks like we may have found another saw. We'll check that out in a second, and let's grab the rest of this junk. What the hell? Oh, we got a diagram for crossbow bolts. And a torn out ah, page. The priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. I see. So why was he killed? Yes, I found your freaking pan. I'm trying to rob you, woman. Hang on. Holy shits. Okay, speaking of robbing, why can I not uh, loot this shelf? I, no, not the candle, Geralt. Jesus. Get on the desk and then maybe I could... I am going to steal this. I don't care how long it takes. Please. Can I loot it now? Yes, I can. Totally worth it. We got another magic item. I assume they're important and or rare? Maybe they're junk? I don't Documents. know. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few ah. pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Okay, so clearly there's some deeper shit going on here. You know, I thought there might be. Why are you orange now? I'm not gonna examine you just in case, you know, we start talking about the Garrett again. Or the Garrots. The Garrots? I don't freaking know. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm going to rob the rest of your sex. We'll check out the crap that we picked up. I'll check it out between episodes or something, because checking every single item just gonna take forever. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. 
You don't want to do that. Are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. <gasps> Free booty! I already robbed you, you know, you didn't really have to give me anything else. The nice Zephyr. What did she give me? Received! Experience points? Okay. And some baked apples. Well, naturally. Alrighty! I'm gonna end it here next time. We'll probably carry on with the pan quest, or maybe carry on with the main quest, or do some random shit. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Witcher 3.